it's Pat McGrew back again with Inkish, and this time we have an amazing story for you. No matter where you are in the supply chain, you want to listen. So I'm with Marcus Glocker, who is with Actega. And if you know Actega, you know they do some really amazing things, but you may not have heard this story. So Marcus, you're here as like the reigning expert in barrier. And, and this is a uh, I won't say it's a new problem that's being solved, but it is a problem that I think everyone today needs to know about if they're involved in building packaging that's going to be containing things that need a barrier film between it and the outer layer. So can you tell us a little bit about the Actega approach? Because I heard it was really cool. Did you? So, yeah, that's good. So um, Actega's approach to barrier, let me circle back a, a little bit. I mean, obviously barrier is not the only sustainable uh, offering we have, but it became very quickly the most important part of our sustainability uh, product range, um, not only due to the reason that there is upcoming regulation, um, uh, like the PPWR, uh, and yeah. it's not going to make our life uh, much easier, but simply to the, due to the fact that now we have to do something in packaging. Now we have to start really create sustainable packaging in circularity and not only talk about it anymore. And um, when it comes to barrier application, this is actually, like you said, a very old story. Like it, I, I personally, I started like 10 years ago already. And at that time, you know, everybody was laughing and, and and, but for a couple of years now, it, it becomes more and more important. And we see that it's, when we thought at the very beginning, it's a change that will happen with packaging manufacturers and converters, that's not true. Now consumers, they change their mind, right? They want to avoid as much plastic as, as possible. Brand owners also change the sustainability agenda. They want to bring more sustainable um, packaging to the market and this is when our success with Barrier really started. So you used a word that some of our listeners will know but not everyone, circularity. So I recognize that this is the requirement that we create it, we use it, we put it through a recycling process, we reuse it again. But how do you create packaging that can actually do that? How is it that we we don't have plastic and yet we can we can keep things from falling through the paper? What's this barrier process? The barrier process. Basically, every every packaging is recyclable. There is almost no packaging that you could not recycle. It's a matter of how much energy do I have to put into it to recycle it and to bring a, a certain portion of the package back to the to the circle. Um, with barrier, let's say it's like a standard process. It's like if you do packaging with a barrier coating from Actiga, it's like you, you take a newspaper and put it into the recycling bin. It's the exact same process. So the, the major advantage of a barrier coated packaging compared to the long time existing products like with PE extrusion um, is we can do it in the usual recycling stream. And what we gain back in raw materials, in fibers, is more than 90%. So what, from a, a manufacturing process, if I'm a converter and I want to use the Actiga solution, um, what do I do? Is it, is it a flood coat that I, I put on or do I spray it or, or do I just buy a material that already has it? I mean, it depends on where you are in the value chain, right? Um, we offer, we basically offer products for all application methods you may imagine. But what you ideally do is you talk to Actiga, right? Because and we're not only right here, solution. exactly, we're not only here to throw a product over the fence and say, look, this is the best barrier product we have. We're here to help you along the entire value chain. We are not only there to create chemistry and develop new products, we are here to support you in a completely new environment which has never been there. So we're here at Drupa and, and for me, all of the Drupas that I've done, every time there's some new thing that arrives, 
And this time it feels like packaging is such a huge part of the story. And this touchpoint packaging space where a lot of the conversations about sustainability just surprised me at how many people were coming through. So you've been having a lot of conversations about the Ectega solution and just sustainability in general? Yes, I mean, th this year we have a, a different concept here. Uh, we have the concept of meet us where you need us. And surprisingly, we probably have a little bit less visitors, but the quality in the exchange became much better. So we, we really talk about barrier and sustainability with people who are really looking into it, right? And I, I attended a couple of troopers as well. And in the past, it was always like, yeah, you know, sustainable, sustainability is nice and we got to do something. But now it finally happens. 2024 is the year of sustainability then? It obviously is. And it's a good time to move forward. So we have been told by your team that you are their go-to conversationalist for every single sustainability story. So I want to thank you for taking time with us. And then I know they want you back. Thank you very much for hosting us. Thank you. Thank you.